From the person who just discovered what SEO is to the Google Analytics mastermind, this week's episode of SEO Lunch takes a look at the WordPress plugin that meets your needs. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of SEO Lunch. I'm your host, Dan. And uh, SEO Lunch is your look at the weekly dose of sort of what's going on uh, SEO. It's also a look at how to implement SEO into your WordPress-powered website. Um, so please subscribe to us uh, at slocumstudio.com slash subscribe. Or if you're watching us on YouTube, hit that big old red subscribe button to get more of this awesome content weekly as it comes out, as well as look at our other web shows like Press This, Fresh Dev, um, and get access to Matt Report and things like that. So what are we talking about this week? Well, a couple weeks ago, I talked about sort of a general way to write a blog post. And one of the topics that was discussed there, as it is a very, very important part of making a blog post, is search engine optimization. Basically, how to make it so that your post is going to look good when Google, Google goes to crawl for it. Um, today, we're going to look at more plugins. So months and months and months, almost a year back, we looked at some SEO plugins on Press This. We looked at All-in-One SEO and WordPress SEO by Yoast. Um, we're gonna take a look at those two as well as a third additional plugin. Talk about for you as your small business or blog or whatever you're using it for, which one is gonna be the best for your needs. So um, we're gonna start, and I have them kind of organized here by sort of ease of use all the way up to difficulty of use, but also from, from a feature set perspective, which ones offer more or less than each other. We're going to start with all-in-one SEO pack. This comes from Semperfy Web Design. Um, and let's, let's dive right in here. So if we're going to go here, I have it activated here, the plugin. Uh, they have their own setting right up here at the top. And what I want to note about all-in-one SEO is all-in-one SEO truly is sort of the beginner's SEO plugin. By the way, all three of the plugins I'm talking about are completely free and can be found in the WordPress repository just by searching for them. I'll also provide the links below uh, on YouTube. Um, but all in one SEO is is sort of a, a simplified sort of sort of plugin. And you can tell by the gigantic question mark next to each one of these these settings here if you're looking on the screen. Um, what that does is it's gonna tell you what it what it means. So, you know, obviously this one's making a donation, but it'll tell you right here what uh what that's going to mean. So, you know, you're going down the list canonical URLs and things like that. It's gonna give you all those options and it's going to allow you to um to do that. So it, it has the most limited feature set of all the guys, but when you're just getting started and for a very base level uh, sort of design, this is a really, really great plugin to have. There is a pro version. Uh, I'm going to talk about that in a second because I don't know if that's quite right for you, um, but you know, you can make your own decision. I'll tell you what the price is and things like that on that. Uh, one thing I did want to mention, did want to note about, about this plugin is down below here, you're going to notice there's a lot of Google settings here, which is great. Just really simple. You can actually uh, put a profile in for Google Plus here that'll link over um, to this website from Google Plus in your, um, in your posts and things like that, which is really great. Uh, and if you're looking at posts, let's go and let's add a new post here. This is what all in SEO pack looks like. It's very, very basic, um, you know, no follow and no index and in Google and things like that. So basically you can make it so that, you know, any of, none of the links on the page are actually followed by Google. We talked about that last week with no follow links. This does it for every link on your web page or a post I should say over here. Um, and then just very basic meta title. And again, the meta title is going to be, you know, what, what shows up in the preview and it does have the preview snippet here. So if it's about pizza sauce, just write pizza sauce here, and then um, the description could be, I don't know, this is hmm. interesting. <laughs> Sorry about that. My computer was freaking out. That wasn't actually the plugin. <laughs> this is an article. Apply the video capture software. This is an article about pizza sauce let's show up below with the pizza sauce here okay 
there we go. There's my basic articles. Let's save that and take a look here. And there you go. What it would look like on a Google web search. Nothing glamorous here, but that's what it looks like. Again, very basic, but we'll get you up the ground running. Um, the next one I want to talk about is WordPress SEO by Yoast. This is created by the man himself, Yoast DeValk. Uh, he's a very, very outspoken member of the uh, search engine optimization and inbound marketing community. Always kind of say, kind of talking about different topics, and he's very, very vocal. Um, he also makes a really great plugin. Uh, it's the one that I typically use personally, um, and I don't want that to sort of sway you to picking this plugin over others, um, just because I'm say, telling you that I use it. Um, I just really like one specific thing that I'm going to tell you about, um, and I think it's really, really great if you are starting out. But let's go here in the settings. Um, he has a more visual approach. One thing I want to say that's a negative for me on this plugin is there's a lot of emphasis when you first install the plugin about tracking your information. It allows you to opt in here for tracking. And what this is, what he says here is, um, you know, he'll gonna, he's going to crawl your website, track your website to sort of better improve his processes and what he updates in his plugin, which I guess is kind of good from that perspective. But it's also sort of um, potentially deceptive and it's just... I'm not comfortable with it, and I don't know if you're comfortable with, with tracking your information, but you can just opt out of it, so it's not a big deal. Um, WordPress SEO by Yoast has one really, a couple really great features to it um, that the others don't have. So if you like these options, I recommend downloading this one for free. The first one is um, backend tracking. So if you want to be able to track things like your Facebook analytics and things built in to your WordPress account, so you just have one place to go to track all your analytics. Um, if you don't want to do it through Google Analytics or things like that, you can do it right from WordPress. And he gives us option right under social here where you can go ahead and you can you know, add your Facebook administrator's information so that you can track it right here on your website, which is awesome. Um, another thing that the other guys don't have, which I'm shocked by, but it's also really cool because you can start here and if you don't like it, you can always export, is you can actually take all your settings and either export them here like your metadata or you can import settings from other plugins, which is really cool. So if you're using all-in-one SEO and you're, you know, it's it's the easy one, and then you move on to WordPress SEO because this one does have more options with regards to sort of sort of more high-level SEO. Um, you can import from all-in-one SEO right here on this page. You can see it here. You could take your information and import it that way, which is really really cool, really cool stuff. Or you can just, of course, import the zip file down below here. The third thing, and one of the reasons that I really like it, uh, I mentioned earlier that there was one specific thing, is this. If I'm in my plugin here, this is a really cool thing, this focus keyword here. What this allows you to do is pick the main keyword or key phrase that this page or post is about. That's what it says here. So if it's pizza sauce, I can write pizza sauce or pizza sauce recipe. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to create a, a page analysis. Let's actually save this draft here. You have to save it first. So down below, you'll notice that it actually tracks the page. You know, it tracks your URL. It tracks the content. It will tell you how many times the content shows up. So if you want pizza sauce to show up a few times, you can type that in. If it shows up in the meta description, so if I write pizza sauce, whoops, wow, I can, I can type <laughs> recipe. There it is. You saw. You just saw there that it popped in for the meta description, which is really really cool, and I really like that. It also um, tracks other things. For example, it'll 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 track like um, right here. You know, you should have this many you know pizza sauces in your article. It should be this long. There's a lot of really cool stuff. There should be some H2 stuff in the copy. It's really great, and it's a really great way that if you're starting to write a blog post, it's all right here for you. If you don't want a good guideline uh, without watching videos and things like that, here it is all right here for you. So I really like that if you're starting to write blog posts. Cool. The third one I want to talk about is definitely the most high end, and I would not recommend this if you are, um, you know, a typical watcher of the show, even potentially, uh, who who might be, you know, getting just just getting into this and looking for plugins. Is uh, SEO Ultimate? Um, SEO Ultimate is very very high level, and they don't mess around with it either. Um, there isn't a lot of help. You're not going to see question mark buttons like you do see in all in one SEO pack. Um, so I'm going to activate it here. And you're going to notice right here, I mean, just looking at this SEO, the amount of options you have. When we go in here, we have all these settings to enable, disable. It doesn't really tell you what it does. Um, and they have a YouTube video on the plugin repository page, so you can kind of look at it and get a tutorial. But there's a lot of high-level stuff in here. And I invite you to kind of look here while I'm scrolling around what they have um, for on the table. Additionally, one thing I did really like about this, 
plugin is in the posts when you're adding a new post or when you're editing your post. Your search engine listing here has all sorts of great options. Um, if you go to search result type specifically, you can go to something like review here. You can name the reviewed item. So if it's pizza sauce, you can write pizza sauce. And let's say I wrote a review and I gave the pizza sauce, I don't know, an eight out of 10, for example. I can do four stars here. And this will track in Google, which is really great. So if you start to look like, you know, uh, Yelp status or um, Google map status or things like that, you can find this review information from Google, which is really great. You can also change how it looks in social networking, um, Twitter, things like that. No index and no follows here as well, like it wasn't all in an SEO pack. So there's a lot of really great stuff here. Um, I really like that. One thing I do want to mention is I mentioned earlier that All-in-One had a pro version. So the pro version of All-in-One SEO is $39, but a lot of the stuff that comes in that All-in-One SEO kind of pro version is included here. It's just harder to get to um, for SEO Ultimate. So specifically like this review stuff, um, having a, 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 you know, a, a place metadata information here as well, and social network stuff, that's all the stuff that is sort of included with that pro pack and All-in-One uh, SEO launch and it's just included for free here with this plugin. So if you're going to graduate even further, I just go to um, all in one SEO or sorry, excuse me, SEO ultimate because it has a lot of really great options for you. A ton of options, not a lot of help, but if you're the kind of person that really likes to dig in there and kind of edit your, your, your website and you know what you're doing with SEO, SEO ultimate is definitely going to be the way to go. So there you have it guys. We sort of, it's really great because we have three different options. They all have millions of downloads and for good reason. All in SEO is a great, great plugin for the complete beginner. You want to kind of learn a little bit about SEO and get an education on it as well as implement a little bit of it on your website. All in SEO is going to be for you. When you've gotten a little bit more advanced and if you want really good control and really good, a really good look at what your blog post looks like on Google, uh, WordPress SEO by Yoast is going to be the way to go. Also the importing and exporting options are fantastic on that plugin. And finally, if you're a high end, um, you know, SEO or uh, you practice uh, high end search engine optimization and about marketing, uh, things like that, you really want to go with SEO ultimate because it's going to give you a ton, a ton, a ton of options, but not a lot of help. So we have low, low, middle, and high tier kind of um, education level plugins uh, for SEO for WordPress. Uh, if you folks have any questions, any comments you want to make um, to help out here with the SEO efforts here, uh, please uh, comment below, comment below on our blog posts. You can subscribe to us at siliconstudio.com slash subscribe or subscribe by hitting the giant red subscribe button on YouTube. Thanks a lot, guys.